Yo, what's up guys? Today is a very special day. We got us a Battlefield trailer. Battlefield 2042. Not Battlefield 2142. Not Battlefield 6. Battlefield 2042 in the near future. I'm super excited. I'm a huge Battlefield player. I played all of them. I played a ton of it. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go, please. Let this be an excellent trailer. I'm super excited. All right, let's see what we got. By the way, I haven't been spoiled at all. I don't know shit what's about to happen or anything. Yo, is that the map? Oh, like in Battlefield uh, 3, the jump. Yeah, big time. Okay, all right. Yeah, big time. Oh, the music, the music. Oh, wow. Yeah, Battlefield 3. I forgot the name of the map, but Damn Event Peak, was it? Oh. The suits. Yo, that looks sick. What is that? Robot dogs. We're not a... We're not at Halberd Tanks yet. Levolution? Stage changes? A lot of destruction. Ooh, look at the guns. Was that a silencer? Oh my god, this is insane. I'm so excited. I can't wait to play this. Holy shit. And I love the setting. Near Future is like my favorite setting. Containers. Surround it. Takedowns, yes. A lot of destruction, I love it. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yes! Oh my god, this looks awesome. The space launch. The space launch. This is like this is like a map event. It's gonna like blast the whole map or some shit. Like you don't wanna be near it when it happens. Maybe you do. It doesn't look so bad. Love the city. The colors are awesome. Helicopters. We haven't gotten helicopters in a while. I know people are excited. Yeah, like a little bird and like a attack helicopter. <laughs> Idiots. Oh, that's like a lot of free kills. You just know it. You just know it. Oh, he's gonna jump in the helicopter? Uh, Battlefield 4 Revolution, right? Kind of like the same. Well, not really, but dropping a um, ATV off a building. Jets. Sick track too. Yeah, oh really? In a cinematic? Holy shit, they finally did it! This is like a typical battlefield move by the way. <laughs> he just grabs onto it. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Uh, you can do it in game. You can. Cool camo. Nothing too outlandish. It looks very, uh, very reserved when it comes to camos and whatnot. General people enjoy. Oh my God! Yes. Yes! Holy shit! We can drive a little taxi? What? <laughs> South Korea? Oh, they're gone. <laughs> Wait, you're in it? Why walking we can fly? Oh, and then you jump off right. Wow. 
Wow. Wow. Gameplay June 13. Nice. Soon. In a week. Wow, 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 wow. Listen, it seems to have all the battlefield elements that we're looking for, right? Um, underground combat, we saw tanks, we saw like ATVs, we saw helicopters which were missing for the past two major games, right? Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5, we didn't have any helicopters. You got jets, um, which again were missing from Battlefield 5 and 1. Um, we got, we got, I mean, what else do we have? Sick camos, we have that wingsuit, which is pretty nice, looks pretty interesting. Instead of a parachute, I guess now we have like a wingsuit, so it's much faster. But I did see parachutes as well, so that, that opening really reminded me of the Battlefield 3 uh, trailer with, uh, again, was it Damavan Peak, I think it was called? I'm not really sure. Um, where they jump off the, um, no, it was, it was a dam, actually. Was it a peak? I can't even remember. I don't know, maybe it was a throwback to that map, actually. I don't know. The city maps look freaking cool, and the city maps are always my favorites in uh, Battlefield 3 and 4. Um, and I just had everything. Those those gliders on the ice, I forgot what they were called. Uh, I forgot what they were called. Anyways, those glider, gliders on the ice, that looked freaking sick, man. And that little, like, mini tank, whatever the hell that was, that was, like, really huge. I, I really can't wait for this game. I'm very happy of the setting. I My favorite setting is the near future or present. I'm not too huge like on World War II or like these other types of games or like Black Ops. I'm not huge on that. I want like something that's modern or something that's futuristic and not too far off futuristic. So they can have like a lot more room with the guns, I think, you know, a lot more like with the with the vehicles. They can like, you know, you go something for like World War II, you can only have like so many guns without going to like the experimental stuff and like the really weird shit. But with like a near future setting, anything is possible, right? So you can pretty much create any gun, any vehicle you want. You can give it any stats that you want, right? While with the other ones, they're a bit limited to the to the real-life um, actual gun. Um, yeah, man, it looks good. It looks good. I really want to play. And also, the giant tornado, uh, the sh part of the ship, like, falling down. Um, the, there seems to be some evolution. The tornado really reminded me a lot of um, Paracel... Islands was it from Battlefield 4? You know when the, like the tornado, like the storm starts, the ship like goes in the um, on the island, like you know the environment changes and whatnot. I really have to have a lot of those in this game because again it was missing from BF5, BF1. Uh, they didn't have any real evolutions, right? Well, BF4 had it and people loved it for what it was back then, from what I remember. Um, what else can I say? I mean, there was so much stuff happening. It's like, I was just, I was just lost in it. Great choice of track. Um, I'm surprised we didn't hear the Battlefield theme that much. It was there just for a tiny bit, which is fine, of course, not a big deal. Um, man, I, I can't wait. I'm going to pre-order the, pre the hell out of this one, that's for sure. I can't wait to play it. I can't wait to play it. I'm so excited. Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. See you on the next one. Peace out.